بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر فرینڈس السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ آل آف یو آر ویری ویل ٹوڈے ان دس لیکچر وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دا کیلکولیشن آف ویرینس اینڈ اسٹینڈرڈ ڈیویشنز فار گروپڈ فریکوینسی ڈسٹریبیوشن ڈیٹا دیر آر ٹو کالمز وچ آر گیون ٹو اس ان دا کویشن وی ریٹن ڈاؤن اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ فرسٹ آف آل وی ول سی دا فارمولا آف ویرینس اینڈ آئیڈینٹیفائی دیٹ وچ ٹوٹل ویلیوز آر ریکوائرڈ ٹو اس فار دا کیلکولیشن آف ویرینس اینڈ اسٹینڈرڈ ڈیویشن ویرینس از ایکول ٹو ایکس کیئر ڈینوٹیڈ دا ویلیو آف ویرینس از ایکول ٹو سگما ایف ایکس کیئر اپون سگما ایف minus whole square of a uh, sigma fx upon sigma f there are uh, total values which we have required for the calculation of variance so first of all uh, we calculate these values we find out these values and after that we will put uh, these values in this formula and calculate the value of variance first of all uh, we find midpoint uh, for each class interval it is very simple we will calculate midpoint with the help of class interval first of all we will add upper and lower limit of that class interval and divide it by 2 and calculate the midpoint for that class interval For the first class interval we will calculate the midpoint is 18.5 after that for the second class interval we will calculate the midpoint is a 22.5 for the last class interval the midpoint is 30.5 Dear friends uh, we have calculated we have find out the column of midpoint uh, with the help of class interval column after that we will calculate the fx column uh, it is very simple here x columns we have generated and f column is already given to us we will multiply both values and calculate the fx column for the first row what we will calculate fx value it is very simple in in first row the f value is 14 and x value is 18.5 we will multiply both values and calculate the fx value is uh, 259 okay and after that in the second row f value is 12 and x value is a uh, 22.5 we will multiply both values and calculate the fx value is 270 and after that for the third row the f value of third row is 12 and the x value is 26.5 we will multiply both values and calculate the fx value is 318 and after that we find the column of x square it is very simple we will take square of each value of x column and mentions here first value of x is 18.5 we will take square of this value and find the value of x square is 342.25 and after that the second value of x is 22.5 we will take square of this value calculate the value of uh, 506.25 okay and the last value of x is 30.5 when we will take square of this value we calculate the 930.25 in this way uh, we will find each value of x square columns and mention them after that we find the each value of fx square column it is a very simple as we have done x square columns and f column is already given to us so we will multiply both columns with each others and calculate each value for fx square column so in the first row f value is 14 and x square value is a uh, 342.25 uh, so we will multiply both values and calculate the fx square value for first row dear friends fx uh, square value for first row is a uh, 4791.5 okay in the same way uh, we will calculate fx square value for the second row 12 multiply 506.25 fx square value is a uh, 6075 Okay dear friends each column which we have required for the calculation of variance we have done after that we calculate the sum of each columns and put in this formula and calculate the value of variance the total of frequency column is a uh, 53 and the total of a uh, midpoint x column is 98 and the total of fx column is 1304.5 and the total of x square column is 2481 and after that the total value of for this column mean fx square column is 33247.25 
so dear friends we have calculated each value or which we have required for the calculation of variance so we will put all these values in this formula and calculate the value of variance sigma fx care value is a 33,247.25 here we mention it 33,247.25 upon sigma f sigma f is a 53 minus sigma fx a sigma fx value is a 1304.5 here uh, we will mention it 1304.5 upon sigma f sigma f value is a 53 so we will mention here whole scale dear friends in the next step a variance is equal to when we will divide a 33247.25 upon a 53 uh, we will calculate 627.3 here we will mention it up. minus dear friends here which value we will find out after this calculation First of all, we will divide 1304.5 divided by 53. After that, we will take care of this value. Here, we will find out the value of 605.8. Dear friends, in the next step, we have find out the value of variance is 21.5. After that, we will calculate the standard deviations for this group data. Dear friends, it is very easy under root of variance value is equal to standard deviations as we have done the calculation of variance just we take the under root of variance value and calculate the standard deviations for this data in the next step standard deviation is equal to under root uh, the variance value variance value which we have calculated a uh, 21.5 we will mention here and after that uh, the standard deviations we have calculated a uh, 4.63 after that dear friends we will calculate the mean value of for this group data it is very easy the formula of mean for group data is equal to mean is equal to x bar x bar denoted the value of mean is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f here the sigma fx value which we have calculated 1304.5 so we will mention this value 1300 04.5 which is divided by sigma f sigma f is is 53 so we will divide this value by 53 and calculate the uh, mean value for this grouped data mean value is equal to uh, 24.6 after that dear friends lastly we will calculate coefficient of variation value for this group data dear friends coefficient of variation formula is standard deviation divided by mean multiplied by 100 dear friends here the standard deviation which we have calculated is uh, 4.63 so we will mention the standard deviation is uh, 4.63 and divided by mean mean is calculated uh, 24.6 multiply by 100 so what we will calculate the coefficient of uh, variation for this grouped data coefficient of variation for this grouped data is 18.82 percent so dear friends uh, we have calculated all these values coefficient of variations a mean value and standard deviations and a variance value for this grouped data dear friends which we have done in this lecture so anyone have any questions regarding this lecture so you can ask us through the comment section after that lastly dear friends i am requested to all of you please like share subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates dear friends thank you so much